the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the lord be with you dear brothers and sisters let us bring to our mind our sins and ask god mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god of mercy on us forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life lord have mercy Christ of mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh. So by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will be come to the temple the lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire yes he is coming says the lord of hosts but who will endure the day of his coming and who can stand when he appears for he is like the refiner's fire or like the fueler's lie he will sit refining and purifying silver and he will purify the sons of levi refining them like gold and silver that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord they will sacrifice of Ju- then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of the old as in the years gone by the word of the Lord
The response is, who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the first from the letter of the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, and that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who, through fear of death, have been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help the angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had become like brothers and sisters. In every way, he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through that what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Light of revelation to the Gentiles and glory to the people, to your people Israel. The Lord be with you. You're reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for the purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, He took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people of Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, the child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself as sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. Then they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord. 
they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today we uh, celebrate the feast of uh, the presentation of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ in the temple in Jerusalem. Okay, if you start counting the number of days from the uh, day of Christmas all the way up to this day, how many days are there? If you count all the way from uh, the day of Christmas, to this day how many days are there in between from all include all included let's see how many are good at mathematics yep day of christmas this day as well all the day from day of christmas all the way up this day all included yes 40 yep so 40 days So that's why the presentation of our Lord is always on the 40th day. So this is today's the 40th day. It's as per the custom of the Jewish custom, the 40th day, if we have a the first one if it's a male child should be presented in the temple. So it's a Jewish custom 40 days, the 40th day, the presentation of the child in the temple. And also the second part of the presentation is actually redemption. you give the child to god and then you take the child back to take the child back of course you have to offer something else that's why the turtle dove or pigeon has to be offered there so that you instead of your child you offer this first you offer your child then instead of you want your child back right you don't leave the child there in the temple so you give something else offer that then you take your child back but that child belongs completely to god that's the meaning the child is presented to god also as per the jewish tradition after giving birth uh, the ritual of purification for a mother as well so again that lasts for 40 days the 40th day is known as the day of uh, purification for the mother after child birth it's they followed the jewish uh, uh, tradition it's also known as the um, the feast of encounter encounter not attack encounter means we have the uh, simeon and anna they are kind of the grandparents they belong to the old testament okay we have uh, joseph and mary they are the bridge between the old testament and new testament and we have baby jesus he is totally the new testament that's why it's called the uh, feast of the encounter of uh, cultures and uh, times and uh, the revelation so the old testament uh, the link between old and new and then the new testament it's also uh, i think from uh, the 6th century onwards it's also celebrated as the candle mass candle mass because jesus is the light he is presented into the temple therefore uh, on this particular day the practice started i believe in 6th 5th or 6th century uh that during the mass all the candles that we use in the church uh, should be blessed at this mass so as you know the, that's, that's why it's known as candle mass candle mass wonderful so we said the old and the new testament come together and jesus is presented in the temple as the light of the nations as the sign of redemption so eventually we will see usually they offered all the sacrifices in the temple but in jesus through him that is going to be replaced jesus becomes the one and only sacrifice and that's what we are celebrating here in the church every time we celebrate the holy eucharist it is his one and only sacrifice the holy eucharist if you go further toward the last part of the gospel passage it's interesting jesus it's a good for us all you know it's all about well before that in some part of the world today is the last day of the christmas celebration 
they keep the christmas crepe and all the decorations till this day because kind of conclusion because the birth and the presentation that concludes so yeah today is the last day of christmas celebration not in our custom but in some other parts some parts of the world if we go further to the last part of the gospel passage he went back of course to his place and he grew up became strong in wisdom and also uh, obedience to his parents so our school system is all about you are presented by your parents in this especially in this week of our catholic schools i think it's a wonderful uh, thing think about you are presented into this church by your parents right and you are here and i said last weekend that it's all part of one your home your family your home church and school we all work as one unit you are presented here by your family to god so that you may grow and you may grow in wisdom and you may grow uh pleasing god and pleasing uh i would say others in the sense that your parents basically or your teachers to be good no learn to be good grow in wisdom grow in intelligence and be good in the world and that's the whole purpose to be good to god to be good to yourself to be good to others in other words to be holy to be wonderful people same as jesus and that's the call that's why we are here because everyone is present the time of baptism you are presented any time you come to church you are again presented to god and god receives you all the time and he gives you the wisdom he gives you the grace so that you may grow as he wants us to grow is it easy no but keep that in mind same as jesus we are in this temple we are in this church we are in our school we are in our home and same as jesus it's up to us to grow knowing the will of god and to grow as a wonderful child of god every day a wonderful image of god in this world and that's our call and we have two options right yes we can say yes we can say no but our yes is going to make a big difference our no is going to make a big difference as well our yes build us up our no make us basically nothing it's up to us We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that you may continue to see Jesus in others. For the church, may God continue to purify her and help her grow in unity and number. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who exercise civic authority, May God grant them graces they need to carry out their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may God's healing power be at work in them and bring them comfort and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God continue to help us grow in his wisdom and knowledge of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, May they be welcomed into eternal joy with Mary and the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul for Ralph Hunter Jr., for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's offer our own prayers.
we fly to thy protection o holy mother of god do no despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers glorious and blessed virgin Pray for this and sisters my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you O Lord we pray for you willed that your only begotten son be offered to you for the life of the world as the lamb without blemish who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your co-eternal Son, was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations and so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and with the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim You are indeed holy alone the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you Thank you. 
in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith and in this god we proclaim your death o lord until you come therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope shawn our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him who God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever Amen. at the savior's command and for my divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom lord jesus christ who said apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the lord be with you always and so for each other a sign of peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed
Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had seen, he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, may we going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world in the Amen.